Have you given up hope today? Do you think you're too far gone down a road that leads to nothing but hurt and pain? If that's where you are right now, don't scroll away from this truth. You're never too far gone. Sometimes it can feel like we are. Sometimes it can even look like we are on the outside. We can get worn down pretty low and even those around us might think we're too far gone. Jesus sees you right where you are and the beauty of his love and grace is he also sees where you can be. Have you ever not watered a plant for a little too long? Yep, me too. We were away on vacation and I forgot to give plant watering instructions to my house sitters. We were gone for two weeks in the heat of the summer and while a lot of plants can make it that long, a peace lily cannot. If you've ever had one in your home, you know that at the moment they are not satisfied, they wilt. The leaves droop and they can look pretty sad. My plant-loving friends that are watching this know that sad-looking leaves on a peace lily aren't a means to toss it out. You simply give it a good watering and within a day or even just a few hours, those leaves perk back up and all is well. Even knowing this is the case with the peace lily, one that hasn't been watered for a couple of weeks is a bit more serious. I have two plants. One is big and one is small. They both looked too far gone. They were in bad shape. I doubted they would make it. Still, I gave them what they needed. I watered and I waited. The big plant, having stronger roots and stems, by the next day was coming back to life. I pruned the dead and dying leaves and gave it more time. The little plant hadn't perked up at all. I thought it may have crossed the little green plant bridge or whatever plants do when they die. I waited. Was it too far gone? Maybe you feel too far gone. Are you dry and worn down from it all? Life is hard. Storms and droughts come that we didn't ask for. Maybe your own choices led you to where you are today. What may seem too far gone when met with the love and grace of Jesus can be turned around. In Luke chapter 8, we read about a man Jesus met that I'm sure many thought was too far gone. This meeting was no accident. He was possessed by many demons, lived in a graveyard, was naked, often guarded and shackled with no hope for redemption. Jesus saw something more. Luke 8, 35. The people went out to see what had happened. When they came to Jesus, they found the man from whom the demons had gone out, sitting at Jesus' feet, dressed and in his right mind, and they were afraid. Jesus caused quite a stir in this city, and it was all because he saw what could be, not what was. What was lost was found. What was dead was made new. Yes, a herd of pigs ended up running over a cliff, but what was thought to be too far gone was redeemed. Go read more about it in Luke chapter 8. Jesus turned it all around. This man had a new story to tell. Can you imagine hearing it from his perspective? I was the guy in the graveyard. Look at me now. If Jesus can heal me and turn my life around, he can do it for you too. Are you dry, wilted, and weary? Come and taste living water today. You'll never thirst again. And what was thought to be too far gone can be made new. That's the truth. Oh, and my little peace lily made it through as well. See, don't give up too soon. What may seem too far gone, wilted and left for dead, may just need water, the light of the sun, and a little more time. I'm Lori Klein.